You guys have been absolutely amazing. Every single week where I have started to upload something that I haven't done before, where I started to do a new discipline that I've been teaching but never made a video on, the feedback has been pretty amazing. So I thought, why not branch out even more and get into a little bit of a kettlebell circuit for the whole body. So if you are ready, grab yourself a kettlebell and let's get right into it. Starting with our first exercise, a one-handed sumo deadlift. Not only is the deadlift an almost full body exercise, but the only muscle group that usually does not get trained when you work on a deadlift is basically your chest musculature and we are taking care of that by pulling the weight to the middle during the whole exercise. So you have to contract your chest musculature as well as doing the full deadlift. Keep your spinal erectors tight, keep your upper body upright, go into a little bit of an extension in your lower back and from there you pull or basically push away from the ground and switching hands. Moving on to a double handed classic sumo deadlift and we want to keep our form as strict as possible. So keep your body as upright as you can, turn your feet outwards so we have a little bit more of glute inclusion, especially gluteus medius and ventral glute on the side of your leg as well as more quadriceps activation. Now this will have to do a lot with your mobility if you can push your knees outwards because we want them to be following our toes during the exercise. So be careful that your knees don't fall inwards and push them outwards during the entire exercise. So now we can add an actual overhead press into the deadlift movement making it a full body exercise with every single muscle group which makes a workout way more time efficient. Now at the top of the movement you actually want to extend your shoulder upwards as far as you can so you have as long a range of motion as possible. Put it all the way down, switch hands and use a range of motion as long as possible possible. We also want to keep in mind that the extended arm shouldn't be falling forward or backward but should be an extension of our upper body. Now as for the programming of all those exercises we want to do 90 seconds per exercise, move on to the next one and then only take a break at the very end of the circuit before we move on to repeat the whole process for a second or even a third round if you want to go for more and muscle in endurance workout instead of a hypertrophy style workout. If you do however want to build bigger muscle and focus only on that, you're gonna have to drastically increase the weight load that we are using which is gonna be hard with exercises such as the deadlift to overhead press. So keep that in mind and you will have to reduce the amounts of repetitions you do to four to eight reps per set before moving on to the next one. So after the kettlebell swings that we just saw here, we're gonna move on to classic super squats. So open up your legs and again your knees should be following your toes. So if you can't do that you're gonna close your legs up a little bit further than you did before so you can go down as far as we need to which at the very least means to get our femur parallel to the ground or a little bit lower so we also don't have too much pressure on our knee joint. Try to keep the bouncing to a minimum and at the very top tilt your pelvis forward and flex your glutes as hard as you can to complete the exercise. Now from here we're gonna close our legs and have fully closed squats which are gonna need a little bit more mobility because we want to go as to grasp basically sit down all the way at the end of the movement we want to relax and let the tension get out before we start building up tension again. So not only do we have an insanely long range of motion but we also start to build tension at the beginning of the positive movement and as well at the beginning of the negative movement. From here we're gonna extend our back, keep our legs still closed and go for classic Jefferson curls. Now depending on how much mobility you have you can move down all the way to the ground, you can move down just below your knees or you can even have just a tiny range of motion in your hips. The most important thing here is you want to keep your spinal erectors tight and your lower back in an extension or at 
the very least neutral. If you can keep it neutral, then by all means go down to the ground. If you cannot, and if you start to see rounding in your lumbar spine, that means that you have gone too far and you need to reduce the range of motion a little bit. Which moves us to the single leg backwards crossing lunge. I have been making up names this entire time. I have no idea what these exercises are supposed to be called because most of them are a combination of multiple exercises. But with this one, you're gonna notice you need to keep your core very tight because for one we have the weight on only one side so our obliques need to work a lot more than the rest of our core to keep us stabilized and it will also include much more of our lower back to keep us upright next to that we have much more stabilization inclusion in this exercise because you're going to need a lot of balance which is always a nice bonus once you're done with the one side switch over to the other side as always and repeat the whole process don't start in a close position with your legs but shoulder width or a little bit wider is perfect and now we do single leg rdls or romanian deadlifts as far as i know for this one we want to have both legs legs fully extended if you don't have enough range of motion you don't need to go all the way down again but we want to try and keep our back at the very least in a neutral position also this is gonna need a lot of balance and it is a full body exercise basically maybe you don't have too much shoulder inclusion but other than that we are hitting our entire posterior chain as well as our core and at the very top if you flex your quads you have a little bit of inclusion there to do the left side do the right side and be very careful with this balance thing because if you fall sideways or if you hurt yourself that's not a good thing you can also reduce the weight of course to make it a little bit easy which concludes our exercises so that's basically it for me for today i have a yoga class waiting for me so i'll see y'all tomorrow at 12 o'clock where i'll be uploading this session if you like the video like the video subscribe and i'll see y'all tomorrow captain cairo peace out